This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with a target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. Hello, and welcome to day 180 of my attempt to 100% everything in Hitman 3. Today, we're taking a look at The Undying Returns, which is not new content. This came out in Hitman 2 way back in the day. And the first time he appeared, he did not have an eye patch, but the second time, he does, because canonically, I think 47 killed him with the eye to the pen. I don't know if that's what I did on my first playthrough, but uh, I don't remember. It's been a while. Today's plan, so I want to get this done. I also want to take a look at the arcade that showed up, and I'll start by saying this is very, very confusing, and I'm very, very frazzled by the entire situation. As best as I can tell, this particular arcade contract is free while this target is up. So in other words, for 30 days, I'm going to complete the contract today and that's fine, but for the next 30 days, this arcade contract will be playable. After that, however, if you want to play it, you will need to purchase the, uh, what's it called? The Undying Pack over here, which features a bunch of cosmetics and other fun stuff. But it also gives you permanent access to the list of Target Arcade. That is my understanding. Could be entirely wrong, please direct any complaints to IOI. Now, I did play through this contract last night on an alt. I did Silent Assassin Suit Only. We are not doing Silent Assassin Suit Only today because it's boring as hell. I did have a lot of people in chat last night saying that they were having problems with the arcade variants, that they were failing and getting locked out for 12 hours, so we'll see how that goes. But after those are done, or after those are failed, what I'll do, if I get time, is I will take a look at the featured contracts that appear this week. If I can find them. They're somewhere around here. Not that. There's 10 new featured contracts. Fuskest. I don't think that's pronounced correctly at all. I don't know if these are dedicated to speedrunning. I've got to admit, I've never heard of your name before. I'm sorry. There's some really cool art there, though, I think. But yeah, we'll play through those and see what those have to offer. All right, so let's start with the elusive target. Mr. Farber. We cannot change what we start in. And also, I should say, if you're watching this on Twitch, firstly, I piss you for that intro, which I flubbed. And secondly, please make sure your IOI accounts, if you have one, is connected. Because if it is, if you watch me or a far better streamer for an hour, you will unlock this. An absolutely gorgeous purple duck. Everyone's favorite remote rubber explosive. <laughs> Let me try that again. Everyone's favorite remote rubber explosive device is back. Now in purple. This is a surefire hit to gain the attention of any target. But placed with caution. The little thing, the cute little thing rather, is deadly. 
We won't need that for today, unfortunately. At least not for this first contract. Uh, I want to bring along some coins. And I think that will do, but let me switch over to the purple suit. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Repeat die blind. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. You will not wait around for long. Dave Reddy is the person in reception there. There's a couple of new challenges here. Uh, not that. Where are you? Yep, so just for starting the target, we get this. Repeat thigh blind. The ephemeral suit. I'll try that out later in the stream, perhaps. Yeah, this one here is exclusive to Miami, which is why the start of the streams showed 99%. Gonna get another Florida Fits with Gloves outfit. I thought I already had that, but no. And we need to assassinate the Undying as Silent Assassin, if possible. If not, you'll be seeing some Alter Falls. So again, I did play through this last night, SASO. I don't recommend it, it's not fun. And knock you out, grab your disguise, and have a chat to the person at reception. But there's many other methods to get upstairs at this point, so this is completely unnecessary. This is just dank law. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. That outfit looks appropriate. Now let's go. They're expecting us upstairs. Uh, do we hear Diana? I'm sorry, I've got to see if we hear Diana. I do want to do about three circuits upstairs, just following the Undying around, just so we can hear his dialogue. He does have a very, very decent selection of dialogue. A lot of variants, and I think it is worth hearing. Good afternoon, Forty. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. I don't actually need to knock this guy out. I can just grab that disguise on the right while his back is turned. So I should have said this right at the start of the stream. Big thank you to Lasery underscore OOF for the prime sub while I was off stream. Happened about five minutes before I came online. You must be dead. Thank you ready. very much, dude. Really appreciate yes. it. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Oh, we got no audio. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside what the, the hell? Meeting, but that's it. That was very light. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. That's the ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him, if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. Outfit looks appropriate. Now let's go. They're expecting us upstairs. Given that Diana has dialogue here, I do wonder if this was a target that was removed at some point in Hitman 2's development. Because it's very well developed. This guy's with me. I love what you do. I don't understand it, but it's great. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, alright? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. 
getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid. The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. All right, if we're doing the SASO routes, what you do is infiltrate via the garage, grab a key card, then make your way up the stairs on the right hand side there. I'm just bringing up on the map. Basically, you come up these stairs from the basements. Correction, these stairs from the basement up onto this floor. You then go this way through the Android showroom. Make your way up these stairs onto the roof. Get rid of these two people here. Just pull them into this room and get rid of another patroller. Make your way through the assistance office through this path here onto the balcony and then into this little room here. Take the pipe downstairs and that takes you to the back room of the Android lab. That is where I'll be making the kill here now, but I just won't be doing the SASO route because it's no fun. Oh, there you are. I expected that something. is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive Faber. man Mr. in the Faber. history of the ICA. What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh... <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. Ken Bohr. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging. And it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? There's three options there. I do wish there were more. Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. What else? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. Final bit? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guys working on. You carry on. So he does come back into this meeting room and the dialogue does change, unfortunately. I believe that happens twice. Hi, it's me. I've got a new act lined up. You've reviewed the plans. Laser Reorfice in chat. Thank you for the prime sub, yeah, dude. Really appreciate it. I want a big audience for this one. Don't know why you folks do, but thank you. This is not going well. Why the hell is Faber trying to do something so convoluted? Just, just shoot the guy or blow him up or something. But 
No, Fabe has got to turn everything into a damn magic trick. Pop up bookstore, redirecting Sukov's car, hiring extras, customized bombs. I mean, why the hell does he want to blow up the top floor of the building? Sukov isn't even going up there. Now, how the hell am I going to steer this in the right direction? Nox is going to fire me if I don't get some control back. I mean, Faber may be a pro, but this is just too much. Half of this is entirely too risky. Should I speak to Knox? No, 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 no. Th that'll make me look weak. Sort it out yourself. Okay. Deep breath. Focus. I think that's most of his dialogue until he comes back in the room, and because we listen to that, we are missing the dialogue over here. The room on the left, the Android Lab, has been edited. This I'll show you more in a moment. Very nice. <laughs> well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. And unfortunately, this is a trespass as well as the Android Lab, so... There's not much I can really do here. They were drawn up to my we can't get through there. This door is now closable. Ah. So that explains the untraditional nature of And this door has key card on us. And I now realize that I should have brought along the key hacker, but Very it's fine. Excuse me. Me, sir. Excuse me. Right. Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Sorry. It's to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to be. Huh? I'll explode it up. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stop it, man. We had some difficulty accommodating the, the, the exact design requirements. <laughs> no, the, the pen's actually woven from the, the finest boron nitrate nanotubing with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly makes it explosive. I specifically requested an explosive pen capable of vaporizing the upper part of a man's torso. Well, uh, coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is a complex, extremely hard. Ultrasonic, a distilled sample of Mr. Knox's Hello, sir. Nitro the right targets are taken low. down every time. Frankly, it, it seems uh, too a much detail at this stage. Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I, uh, oh. I suppose not. Disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. I'm not going to kill him with that right now. We'll kill him with that later. So, this is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chilling. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but I will say, I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. The fear of death is what drives us. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Palace is top of the line, Mr. Faber. The most advanced robotic system in the world. The AI is world class, too. Yeah, Mr. Knox has designed this to make us all jobless in 20 years. Yeah, I saw his talk on artificial intelligence last year. I'm more of a flesh and blood kind of guy than he is, I think. But we could all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. We'd all be up to the job then. Mm. Very salient. Now I can't look at this one because it's behind the door and I can't get this door open because I didn't bring along a keycard. Hmm. The bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important. It's flashy enough. It's not misdirection. This isn't exactly a discreet container. I suppose if we add balloons to the event, 
Spray paint this to look like a helium canister. I think we can make this work. The most ingenious thing about the active ingredient in Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility. We can create multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. How so? Well, for instance, if you were to require a, a flashier explosion, the Nox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames. But if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm. That is very useful indeed. I have to say, Mr. Yu, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. I'm not trespassing here. Seems I'm only trespassing I'll when... The a while. I'll see you later. When the guards are here. Uh, let's get rid of one of those guards if I can. Okay, we're getting rid of a scientist instead. He's on the phone again. We can't hear him because we're too far away. Yeah, what I'm going to do for this kill is just clear out this room. Take him in the back and put him some pasta. If I'd remember to bring along Key Hacker, I could get through there and that would simplify things. No. No, the main event takes place on the top floor. Morgan's assured me we can lure anyone we need up there quite easily. We'll detonate the entire floor using a new type of explosive I'm hoping to secure today. Any relation to Ken? No, the agent should live. We need the witness. We'll detonate once he fires off the first shot. Lucky hit on a nearby gas canister. Far-fetched, sure. But they fell for the exploding fire extinguisher a few years ago. Sure it'll work. Right. I need to finish with an intel brief here, then I'll fly out to meet you. I'm back. Where did we leave off? So, we looked into renting the entire building. The short answer is, it can be done, but we'd need to scrap a couple of shell corps together in the process. Huh? And I know you don't want that. That was weird. That makes it slightly more you. complicated. As there Take a are, look. You know, aye, aye. a lot of moving parts. Ah, cool. Uh, so I was we'll be able to hear the dialogue through that wall. References, his character, habits. Let's see if we can find some of those, shall we? Yeah, it's an abbreviated meeting here. I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Okay, you, you do that. There's still lots to talk about, though. Let me see if I can get rid of the other guard right quick. Gen P, how are you doing, dude? Thank you for hanging out, and thank you for hanging out last night as well. Appreciate it, as always. I've not looked on YouTube yet, but I'm sure that Gen P has a run of the Undying Up, which blows anything that I can do out of the water. Alright, we'll get rid of his guards. like to meet him then we've had a good run if i go by anyone's hand i want it to belong to the best in the business I missed the first part of that unfortunately good good i'll see you later alice okay this is not a trespass it's just that guard there who stops us from coming inside any new dialogues nothing new yes but i do intend to switch into this disguise Mr. Faber, uh, I'm, I'm ready and then proceed. speak to him Yeah, if I was able to get rid of him now, I could go over there and snipe him from that window. But that would be excessive. Hmm. 
It's a shame the series of trespass. Use some of Nox's octane booster here. Combine it with magnesium and create a sparkly light show. Using it not to kill, but to distract. Or as an instigation of sorts. Might work. Oh, perhaps magnesium might do the trick. <laughs> it would certainly draw the eyes. <laughs> or, oh, hmm. No, the light would be blinding with a piece that large, so maybe that's actually counter to what is required. So, how would one fit a flamethrower on you? Maybe a small one. Jet of fire from the mouth. A few more iterations of design and... You and I might be best friends, Mr. Robot. Mr. Knox is betting the future of his company on Palace here. I've only worked on the project for six months, but the concepts for weaponization are extremely promising. A small army of these would be able to devastate any opposition in days, particularly in urban warfare. Still can't get a look at the bomb. I had my doubts seeing this initially, but this could be just what I'm looking for. The octane booster itself isn't really the main attraction here. It's the Nox compound that's the real magician. Marketing just figured we'd pre-launch its octane booster format first, but it's not really the intended purpose. However, it so effectively rivals ethanol, barasine, and MMT, we expect to launch it worldwide very soon. What is that acronym? MMT. Not for me with it. Let me see if I can get the other scientists out of here. Okay, I think I've seen enough for now. I should think for a while. I'll be back later. Oh. He's gonna walk off right there. Walk off and make another phone call and oh god, okay, that's bad. That's bad. That doesn't work. That does not work. Well if that dude is in that room on his lonesome, then we can take him out. And how are you feeling on this? How are Dave you, sir? ready. What an absolute arse. Absolute arse confirmed. Right, I'm back. Let's carry on. Pavel Sukov and Knox go way back. Sukov's older brother actually started Kronstadt with Knox, but was killed in a tragic accident just days before the company went on to the stock exchange. Pavel seems to think Mr. Knox had something to do with that, so he's been carrying a grudge for years. It's never an accident, the kids. Corporate run around for about a decade until I got wind of this new book. I read an early draft, and let me tell you, it's as explosive as some of your finest work, Mr. Faber. We have to shut this guy down, and you're just the man to do it. Fascinating, Mr. Reddy. I should like to go over all the files myself at some point. Make sure I don't miss any of these gold nuggets of information. Right. I think it's time for a smoke. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, sure thing, sport. I'll be here, I guess. He says he goes off for a smoke, but he just walks over here. Laser, are you off? You have your rubber duck. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. And if you're watching on Twitch Live, please ensure that your IOI account is linked so that you can get a rubber duck in your inventory. It's a little bit bugged. Me, we were all finding Seems last like night that um, the inventory was not correctly showing it as being um, as having our accounts connected, but it will show up in game the moment you fulfill the requirements. Alright, let's disguise ourselves as Timothy Yu, which I find very curious. Just because this disguise, presumably, does not count towards Chameleon. <coughs> Lose my voice. Uh, I need you in here. This guy comes in here periodically. But I'm going to need to speed you up because oh. Mr. Farber is coming. And yeah, going back to the SASO method... Basically what you do is you drop into this room directly ahead of me using the pipe on the right and then you slowly clear out the room on the right just pulling them into this room one by one using gun lures, 
audio distractions, whatever else. And then you've got this guy who is lonesome, and you can do whatever you like with him. Get your mind out of the gutter, chat. Uh, did I miss the talk opportunity? I think I did. Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen with VX poison or something along those lines? Something that made the victim experience extreme pain or undergo violent seizures, perhaps. Would need to look good on camera. Someone's clearly watched The Rock. Struggling to use my words today, as always. Oh, we can talk to him now. I suppose if the objective is to attract attention, the idea is worth pursuing, Mr. Faber. How is something like this going to kill anyone? All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of patience. Yeah, there was an option to kill him with the pen right there. Uh, what's in here? Robots, huh? Gunpowder. Can't say I'm a big fan of the prospect of an android future. I may only be flesh and blood, but I've done all right for myself so far. Ooh. Don't know if that counts as an accident or not. I wonder what hooking up a truckload of this stuff to a sprinkler system might do. Maybe a neighboring building? A small incendiary device and a timer. Let it burn for a few minutes and then activate the sprinklers. Hardly seems like an effective weapon. In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. He's not going to say his dialogue. Nope. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Ignore me. He is now going to walk back to the meeting room. Just got to watch out for this enforcer coming through. But basically, plan's going to be lure him into either that room or maybe even into the toilet directly ahead. I do want to try and have a chat to him inside the office. Prick. And see if there's any dialogue there. But I've got to kill him, then go downstairs, take out security, and then exit. At this point, we have multiple ways of killing him, multiple safe ways of killing him. It's all very, very easy. Am I allowed in here? Yes. Am I allowed past this line? Also, yes. Can I attend the meeting as Timothy Yu? Okay, yes. let's get back into it. All right, so we know Zukov's planning on revealing his rag of lies to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequents, and she let it slip where the bad boy is going to perform his evil deed. <laughs> that guy can't keep his trap shut about it. Frankly, I'm amazed the entire book isn't already online, but I guess that's our luck. Anyway, the downside is that he's going to have a lot of media there. That's all very interesting, Mr. Reddy, but it's not really news to me. I certainly hope you were able to dig a little deeper than this. No comments. I think I need to stretch my legs for a few. Keep at it. Yeah, let's touch base later on then. I really don't know how many variants there are. I might go for one more and then we'll murder him. Let's see if we can meet up with him in this office. Oh, you actually leave the room as well. Don't suppose I can disguise myself as Dave Reddy, but we'll find that out later. Alright, so let's meet this dude in the office. So this is very accessible as an engineer. There's no problem getting inside here. It was just that one guard who was blocking access while Mark Farber was in the room and while the guard was alive. Yeah, look at that. There's even a point for it. For that disguise. Alright. Mr. Farber, do you want to have a chat inside this room, please? Ah, oh, there you are.
possibly a bit buggy. Stabbing weapon. Stupid. How am I supposed to create a memorable moment if I can't even get something as simple as We'll do experiment. that next time, I promise. Maybe if it's just a small explosion. A precursor. Some... You need to step back a few steps, sir. Damn, Sean Bean, you've got some range. Hmm, maybe we can use some of Nox's Optane booster here. Combine it with magnesium and create a sparkly light show. Using it not to kill, but to distract. Or as an instigation of sorts. Might work. I suppose the current design is a little conservative. Your idea is interesting, Mr. Faber. How would you kill someone with this? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with something like that. <sighs> but I could do it right now. Swimming carcass. Hope you're well, dude. Thank you for hanging You're out as an always. Interesting concept, my friend. Nobody would be able to resist the chance to get up close and personal with you. Which makes you very useful. Ah. That prompt is very brief. Uh, is there a photo of this guy somewhere on the level? What if we somehow added a solidifying agent to this retarder to keep it from drying out if painted on the walls? We could set the entire room ablaze in green or purple fire. That would make the headlines. Jesus, what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Where's the fun in taking out someone with this thing? All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of patience. If only 47 out of camera. Right. Yeah, don't work like Back that. to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. Let's take a photo. Let's scan the photo. Excellent missed opportunity IOI. I mean, the camera doesn't even have doesn't even have a proper flash. You see a flash, and then it doesn't actually light up the photo. Right. Let's have a look at the changes Knox made to me last time. Hello there, sir. Maybe I should give Knox a discount if he lets me kill Gunslinger Dave in there. Yeah, I don't recall who said this, but I'm pretty sure that this target here was originally a target in Hitman Two. And then he was reworked into an elusive. And they've re-recorded most of the dialogue as Sean Bean, but... Uh, you heard there... Oh, he's not sitting down. Interesting. Um, you heard there that if we distract him, or bump into him, he slips into a different voice. Didn't anyone air out in here while I was away? Never mind. Let's get back to it. So, we looked into renting the entire We've heard this. Shell companies. Is, it can be done, but we'd need to scrap a couple of shell corp so pulling him out here and pushing him down is tricky. There are bushes down there. He might survive. But also, this dude is present. And outside of using a Trank or an Emetic, I don't have an immediate solution for him. This guy here is not so much of a problem. We can drag him into... Into? Yeah, we can drag him into this room here. Stuff him in there. And then we just need to somehow get rid of that guy. And then we could push him over the ledge, perhaps. But we're not going to do that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guys How do we want to take him out? Before we do, before I forget, so let me go down here. And shoot this. I really don't know what key card we need to get through there. Or where to find it, I should say. Mister. I would love to get rid of you. And at this point, the room is clear. We can just take him out at our leisure. Okay. Beautiful. Bit of a weird motion there. Let's just close that up. 
subdue you, and we're almost good. I just got to watch out for these two passing by. Close the door. Again, that door has been changed. I think it always used to be closable, but then they changed it for Hitman 3, perhaps. So that you couldn't close it. That coffin is full. I'm going to kill you at least once more, Mr. Farber, so I think you can start with a broken neck. Jump you in there, and let's do that. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Unfortunately, I didn't bring along the purple duck. But let's just make sure that he's well and truly dead. Alright, I think he's dead. Are you dead, sir? One moment, let me just drag you into the lights. Are you dead, sir? I mean, he's not responding, so I assume he's dead. Alright, that'll do. Um, there's nothing wrong with me, I swear. Well, let's get out of here before he wakes back up. Yeah, this door is also locked from this side. So, if you wanted to get out using SASO, you'd have to leave the way you came in, basically. Unless you have a crowbar and can break through this door. Uh, best way out is probably the front entrance, but I just need to watch out for any enforcers. Five minutes on the undying. I'm a terrible player. Well, you know, I just wanted to show off what 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 that mission had to offer. <clears throat> Lose my voice. All right, it's been a while. How do I use the exit here? I've completely forgotten what I have to do here. Hello. You now I have to run over these things in a very specific order. Lux Manifestus, how are you doing? I need a fish in the hand. Okay, never mind. Um, I feel conflicted about that because swimming carcass is in chess. Fish are just chilling in the aquarium. No pun intended, and I don't want to have to break the glass to get them out to do this exit. Gen P, Undying Returns 2025. You know what's happening. Unless IOI abandoned the game, it is going to happen. Alright, done. Should be everything. Not a good time, but I do not care. You have mural suits. A lucky catch of an elegant casual grey suit with brown gloves and leather shoes to match. This ensemble shouts out Miami with a clear statement that Sign the dotted line and drinks are on me. Those gloves. Uh we've seen that a million times, I'm not reading that. Alright, so that is the Undying Elusive Ton for 2024. Next up, 2025. Arcade. Now, there were a few people in chats yesterday saying that they were having problems with this and getting locked out, so... I'm curious to see what this one is all about. Mr. Farber does not have his eye patch. We need to eliminate him using the pen. 
which basically means I need to do exactly what I just did. Except you know I'll be much quicker about it this time. Where's our suits? Uh, did I go past it on classic? It's under casual. That doesn't strike me as a casual suit. Just saying. Um, okay, is there anything I can do to speed things up? I can easily get into the um, the room on the right hand side just by switching his engineer and making my way up there. And then I can just clear out the room progressively. I'll take the trank with me. Let's just go in with that. Laser off the last stage you found difficult. I don't know what they are yet, so. I know I need to do the first stage with a pen, no idea about the second or third. I want to be surprised. Good afternoon, Ford. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting uh, for you in the reception area. I'm if not massively like, fond of that white shirt. Will be in attendance. Lux Manifestus, yep, on, exactly. The eye patch appeared in the second appearance be of the Undying when they reactivated him. Ah. Got away with it. There's a reference to the fountain pen kill having used on him in the first appearance. Yeah. yeah. Canonically, 47 killed him with the fountain pen. And then he just came back, and the briefing was a little bit different. Diana said one or two new lines, like, oh, it's happened again, or something like that. But apart from that, there is no real difference. Um, how do I get through here? The door on the right, I believe, has key card on I don't have a gun on me. Well, I do, but it's a dark gun, so... We can't smash the glass to get to our fishy friends. Let me just go down here and take out security. And hopefully I can get into this room on the right hand side. I say right, but we know full well it's on the left. Ooh, hello. Uh, yeah, let's try and get rid of you there. Wow. Perfect. I can't hide your body, but that's fine. I don't believe anyone else comes in here unless we poison them. No. No. I, uh, I could disguise myself as you, and... I didn't mean to say you, I meant to say you, Jesus. Um, and... Then go in here. That door is still locked. We can lockpick that though because I've brought along the lockpick. Yeah, if you're doing this at level 1, Silent Assassin suit only, the way to do it is to come down through here, but you need to take an entirely alternate route. Uh... Okay, getting tranked. I didn't trust this guy not to be the one that moves into the room. That's why that was a bit weird there. So the guards, last time what I did is I took them out using the toilet on the right hand side. If I get the opportunity, I'll try and do that again, but I think it might be too late. Lux Manifestus, can I robot kill him? I don't know, but Gen P says no. And I trust Gen P. Gen P refers to it as a wasted opportunity, especially given that, you know, we're carrying a camera. The flash doesn't work on the camera though, so, you know. What?
Kaka said it. Oh, damn it. You're both lovely people, just saying. I trust Kaka. I trust Carcass. I uh, haven't been inside that room. Uh, the room that I'm currently in now, or...? I really come into this room as well. Ah! I think the first time I... The room with the robot. Uh... No, the... There's a robot in the um, android room. And it has a scannable panel. Okay, I've got a wait for him to come out, so... We'll just take a few moments. Lux Manifestus is referring to this. Scan picture Android targeting system. So if there was like a magazine or something of Mark Faber in this level, this would be a way of killing him. Now the only problem with that is I don't believe that is an accident kill. Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Just gotta hide that gun in here. Uh, Jempy, you think it's an accident for Roberts? Okay, I'll believe you. It's been a very long time since I've used the androids to kill anything. Laser eel for Grease? Yeah, okay, so... If there was something on the level with Mark Faber's uh, picture on it, and we could scan it in there, then that would be another kill opportunity. Is there something in the meeting room, perhaps? Also, put the arm down, you madman. Excellent, Pallas. What are you thinking about right now? Your blueprint, my friend. I'll just head over to check on what that you guys working on. You carry on. It'd be cool if they hit it deep in the map. It would be cool. Looking good, looking good. And it makes me wonder if it is hidden, because the cutscene for this is very similar to the standard Miami cutscene, where it shows you that overhead shot of all of the stuff on the map. Like, there's a food vendor poisoning opportunity, there's a pit lane opportunity, something like that. But none of this is really applicable to this elusive target, so it would be really cool if that was hidden somewhere on the map for us to find. Like, that's Robert Knox, for example. Is there one of Faber? Faber, 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 whatever his name is. It would be really cool. But I've got no idea if it exists or not, and I'd say if someone is playing the PC version, they'd be able to find out very quickly. Right, do we have an initial meet and greet with this guy? That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. I know the designs I sent were unique, but I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Yeah, his suit is new for sure. Right, let's have a look at... <laughs> Target eliminated. Grissom. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to do uh, Mr. Faber. Nearly ran into the enforcer. Lazary or Faber time means being in Latin. I did not know that. I know no Latin whatsoever. 
Lux Manifestus, yeah, his suit is new. I'm not a fan of the white shirt. Uh, is this guy still conscious? No, we stuffed him in the closet. Yeah, uh, come on. Yeah, this suit is new. I thought there was an undying suit in Hitman 2, or possibly earlier, I can't recall, but I thought there was another suit involving this guy. And yeah, that's what he was wearing before we took him out, or very close to it. I remember the shirt and the jacket, not sure about the rest of the disguise. Like the shoes and the gloves. I'll check that out next time. I thought it was like a blue suit. The undying look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Lux Manifestus, you're right. The undying look. Gen P concurs. We'll take a look at it in just a sec. Unlocked by completing XETs, list of targets. Ooh, Laser Reoff says there's apparently a file on Mark Faber in Robert's office. Alright, well, I've got to check that out as long as it doesn't get me killed. Yeah, there's the Undying look. I thought it had something to do with the Undying, but at the same time, that looks nothing like the suit that he's wearing. Hmm. Alright, what are we doing? We're taking him out with no condition here. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target... I wonder if the briefing is different on level one. Did he wear that first? Uh, I mean, he wasn't wearing it just now. Maybe he's going to wear it now. I'm not sure. Robert's office, huh? Good afternoon, forty-seven. I don't mind if I don't get silent assassin here, so let me see if we can do this and if you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful though. He will not wait around for long. I've never really noticed that red tinge on the ground there. Is that new? That was utterly bizarre. Another user said, also in the free photo booth by the entrance of the racetrack, default starting location. Where is the free photo booth? I'm hoping it's not past security. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. The Fiso booth. Hello, yeah, it's beyond here, isn't it? I'm allowed in there, but it's not with my gun. Walking out of VIP access? Yeah. 
much about the car's stamina and technology as it is about the driver's talent. We have a flamingo. A very warm welcome That's Robert Knox. Someone bumping into you, cutting you off. It's how you respond that decides where you'll finish at the end of the day. You know, I never listen to what That's Sierra Knox. That's Moses Lee. Why am I somehow not surprised you'd ask? I don't even know why these are here because Moses Lee doesn't approach that side of the map, does he? Lux Manifest is more across the way. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Promotional photos. Sure, someone got him. <laughs> That would involve taking out everyone on the map and then um, luring him over there with coins or something. I've got the photos. Yeah, I don't think there's one for Mark Farber. They're on this side of the map anyway. If it's here, I would love to see it on someone's video. Uh, let me go up to Robert's office and see if there's a photo up there. We've got a few minutes to work with. Just going to have to wait for him to leave the room and get to move on. Good afternoon, Forty. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception room. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Yeah, sadly, there's no need to knock this guy out. So I just transferred from Metro to Tech. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? in the lobby. I can't check those out. I suppose I should check out this lab as well, shouldn't I? There's three photos, but I'm pretty sure those are just target A, B, and C. There was nothing on the balcony directly ahead. Just need to get into a better disguise so I can come up here without being spotted. Bodyguard will do. Okay. Yeah, this route here is what I was doing last night for SASO. Coming up here, then pulling this guy and also the scientist and the other patrolling guard Hello? into this room and taking them out. And there? it's a bit tricky because the door on the left there, directly ahead, that one opens and closes of its own accord. Or it closes of its own accord and the timing's a bit weird. You gotta lure someone in here, hide on that side, close that door, and then you come back into this room after this door is closed. It's hard, to, it's difficult to describe, but it's a very annoying room to work with. Alright, what do we have up here? Feels like a damn rainforest. Isn't there an AC unit in there? Alright, I think the internet is lying about the whole um, photo thing on the other side of the map, but 
their rice. It's here. Wow. What is that doing up here? Picture taken from a report on Mark Farber found in Robert Knox's office. Yeah, look at that. Robert Knox's office in the description. That implies to me that it's not elsewhere, or if there is something else elsewhere, it's not this particular piece of intel. It seems like Kronstadt was doing some research on Farber before hiring him. He's an employee of Kronstadt. Okay. Yes, sir. Interesting. Uh, okay, what do I do now? Well, let's go down here. Again, if you're SASOing this, you come in here and you just pull everyone into this room. Now, one is going to come into this room by themselves. I'm going to trank them. Just got to wait for the doors to close. And also for him to actually come into this room. Come on, dude. Uh, you right there, cabinet? You look like you're having a seizure. We have no conditions on killing this dude, so I've got no qualms with changing to scientist, scanning his photo, and then making a leisurely stroll back to the racetrack. He's about to be an ex-employee. <laughs> ah, if only things were that simple. Uh, why isn't this guy coming in? There we go. Jesus. I need to wait for the door on the right to close. And do this. Is this a trespass? It's not. That is uh, most definitely illegal though. Mission story guide updated. Okay, opportunity lost. I think I do want to get rid of, um, well, we're not worrying about Silent Assassin here, so I was thinking of maybe getting rid of the other scientist, just to try and avoid any collateral damage. He was a bit close to the door there. Mr. Yu is nearby. Yeah, let's just see if we can avoid collateral damage. I'm not trying to Silent Assassin this, I swear, I just want to be, I just want to be a nice person, chat. I mean, it's not my fault that the android's going to go haywire. Why would you do that, 47? Oh, you madman, you. Alright, there's no sign of the dude because Dave Reddy has not gone upstairs for the meeting. Or he's currently going up there. I just want to see him get gunned down. And there's nothing wrong with me, I swear. No, he's in there. I'm here for the meeting. Go Did you take a bullet for Sierra? Nah, I think mind. I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at him. All right. How are you feeling? Yeah, we we need to see this dude get gunned down. I can make my way to the exit right now, but that would be. That will be a betrayal of your trust, chat. It's possible that the guards may get killed in the crossfire, but honestly, I don't really care. Your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end today. I'll talk to you later. 
I wonder if he can actually be killed in the next room over. Let's find out. No, he's not in line of sight. Oh, wouldn't that be something, though? If we could uh, disguise ourselves as Mr. Yu, have a conversation. He walks here, and he's in line of sight. So we could actually talk to him here, stand on this side of the table, have a chat to him, and we could see this guy die directly in front of us. I mean, there's also a good chance we'll die in the crossfire, but that would be awesome. Ah, I didn't realize that's the concept that he's holding. The Robocop gun. Concept 5. Silenced shotgun? There's some good stuff here. And none of it is in Freelancer. Ah, come on, sir. I love the way the frame is bolted to the floor. It's got wheels, so it's movable, but these clamps are... Actually, no, it's not bolted to the floor at all. It's just got these little winches on each corner that it uses to keep the wheels off the floor. But if it's not bolted to the floor, this thing is going to have horrific recoil, surely. Curious. All right, he is taking his time. He's not okay. There we go. That is Mark Faber, possibly the most elusive man in the history. Of the Target eliminated. Hopefully. This will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. You are surprisingly the calm. Is transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. We're dealing with a ah. We're dealing with a body there that just got shot by a killer android directly in front of you. If that were me, I would be shitting bricks. I should have used the helicopter exit, shouldn't I? Gen P, you wonder if 47 can die in the crossfire? I would say yes. That said, I would not like to test it out. I might test it out on the, um, on the main map. Just going to walk in between Robert Knox and the robots. See what happens. Alright, level 2 done. Hopefully level 3 is not taking him out with the robot. Oh, that's terribly depressing. We did that last night. Alright, um, just trying to think if there's a way of speeding up what I did last night. I'm sure Gen P's got some crazy ass method on his YouTube channel, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, okay, I did this last night. This doesn't seem that hard. If anyone sees... Oh, shit. Okay, so if we get that, that is an insta-fail. Oh, wow. Balls. That's... Okay, that's brutal. That is a brutal complication on the end there. 
immediately fail. All right. Um, I've got the lockpick, so I don't believe that's helpful in getting inside the Android lab. Simply because we've got too many people in there to deal with. I can deal with Mr. Yu, but that's dangerous. I mean, I did this last night, but it took me about four attempts just pulling everyone into the side room and knocking them out. So we're going to be here a while. Do I need the lockpick? I don't think so. Let me bring along a... Uh, what did I bring along last time? The trank is useful. I think I'm just going to bring along a spare melee weapon. Actually, let's bring along the crowbar. So we've seen that we can take out the target using the photo, but getting into the office suit only is going to be impossible. That's not happening, so we need to take him out either with the pen or just take him out inside the room. Alright, so while I practice this, I'll see if I can do it. Getting spotted is an insta-fail. That's brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. Good afternoon, Fortis. And to be clear, it's illegal action, isn't it? Illegal or suspicious, so we can get spotted Dave by cameras. Ready, if we can't, then I'm just going to alt F4 right now. Or if you like, quit the stream, you and then I'll stream tomorrow. Be because we're about to what run through a camera here. Is up to you. But I'm not doing anything illegal be or mindful, sus. You will not wait around for long. The rubber duck is calling. Uh, the rubber duck is... Useful. very useful perhaps but let me show off what I did last night so first things first we use this fuse box drop a gun over here that's gonna pull this guy out to the side also hopefully nothing in the mission has changed if it has then I'm up shit creek We need to get rid of you. Drag you over here. An insta-file condition like that. That is horrible, IOI. Why would you do that? I get that part of it is wanting to create a challenge, but wow. Let's go in here. Disable security. And we're going up these stairs. No, we're not. We're going this way. Where do those stairs even lead? Why did I have why did I have problems going up these stairs last night? Oh, I did not have the lockpick, that's why. And I still don't. So this floor is safe. But this guy here, directly ahead, is a problem. He is gonna come out on the balcony. And I'm way ahead of where I need to be, so I can just go this way now. Vo oh, that- oh, something weird happened there. Holy crap. I don't think that was the Elgato. Wow. Whole world turns into some psychedelic thing. So the other patrolling guard is here. Let me drop a gun here. Let's open the door. Wait a moment. Bro coin. Door closes. Need to skedaddle out here and hide. I need to do this three times. So once again, I wish I had a second melee weapon, but I've got coins. 
and hide two bodies here. Got to do the same thing again. Now it's going to pull the second bodyguard. Lux Manifestus, did they just add the Undying to the ET Arcade or was he there before? I think this is new. If it's this particular challenge that you're looking at, then yeah, it's definitely new. Um, but yeah, I don't think the Undying is in any of the previous arcades. You must be kidding me. Right, third one. I need to clear out the guns from this area, otherwise the dude's going to call for help. Here's some random gunshots just to freak me the fuck out. Drop the gun down here somewhere. I did it a little bit differently last night. I didn't place those coins, but I'll do that. That was dumb. And I'm probably going to get spotted now. Laser off the gold bar works the same as a coin, and it's also a melee. Really? I did not know that. Right, now I think I'm going to have to wait up here. These two are coming in here. They're going to have a meeting with uh, this guy in this room, although his position is different. This is a problem. So we've got Robert, we've got his bodyguard. We have a guard who stands outside his office. That's that one there. He's going to move over to the right-hand side. And we've got this other arsehole in this room who basically just hangs out in the room directly on my left here. Good. Good. Loyalty has its merits, Antoine, but one Antoine. express loyalty from the grave. If your name is Antoine, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. I'll keep you These two are gonna move to the right hand side. He's gonna move over to the left, and I should have a window here to move through this room. Good. Get down here, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now. Well, this is what I was doing all last night. Just knocking people out in these two rooms. That door closes, I can hit you with this. And I really do think that he should be able to see me in his peripheral vision there, but he doesn't. Yeah, it's quite curious. Well, I did not use the android arm yesterday, so let's try that out. Yeah, needs to be very careful here because it's very easy to get spotted. It is stupidly easy to get spotted here. That's the way to do it. So I don't know if there's any value in grabbing Mr. U at this time, but I'm gonna have to at some point, so I might as well. He's coming in here with his two bodyguards. He's going to be delayed moving into the next room. Into the android lab. Because Mr. Yu is resting comfortably in here. Now this is where I was having problems. This guy directly ahead of me is a troll. Let me drop a gun here. And I need to try and pull him into this room.
What was happening last night is when Mr. Farber was in the room here, if I tried throwing a coin, he would, Mr. Farber would call out to this guy here that I'm pointing out right now. He didn't see the coin, did he? Yep, there we go. Farber would look at this guy and say, hey, can you check this out? And then he wouldn't move. It's only by doing what I'm doing now when Faber is not here to sort of intercept that script that this actually works. Uh, okay, spot the gun. And yeah, the gun in this room has to be placed on the right hand side, otherwise he will spot the bodies in this room. Uh, not that. I do not want Mr. Knox and his bodyguard interfering. So I just gotta wait for this and then we do the same method to get rid of these two. And then we just need to get rid of Mr. Farber. Dangerous. Uh -huh. Very dangerous. Okay, there we go. Hopefully he goes for the pistol. Why would you leave something like this behind? And there's a very good reason, sir. Okay, so the other guard is over on the far side near the exit door. I don't know if this is going to work now. Again, Mark Farber works in mysterious ways. I'm going to hide this gun in this room because there's no good reason for him to pick that up. If he picks that up, that's a risk. Alright, let's see if this works. Perfect, I think. Maybe. That pulled the elusive target. Okay. Uh, okay, he's called. He's called out the weapon. Is he going to turn around? Turns around. He's picking up a pistol, so it's going to take a while. The door shuts. We're good. I will hide the body. Target eliminated. Only because I'm going to crowbar the door to get out. Uh, as long as you two don't come in here, it's fine. Now, yep. Time to find Does the bird exit work? Uh, I don't know if it works on the elusive target arcade or the elusive target, and I'm not about to find out right now. Uh, where's my crowbar? This is exactly how I did it last night on level one. You can get a crowbar from downstairs, I believe, outside the car park entrance. You just crowbar that door. You've already taken out security, so you can just now leave this way and all is well. Unless I get trolled on the way out. But that won't happen because I'm a professional chat. Done. I can't express how much I hate that condition. And now I understand why people were in chat yesterday saying they were getting locked out. Oof.
It's not SA, but it's SO with InstaFail if you get spotted. And InstaFail if you accidentally change suits. That's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Undying and Undying Returns. Done. One hundred ninety-three. I thought that was pretty fast, but obviously there's a lot of setup involved. So there's going to be much quicker ways of doing that. I would love to see people's solutions to that online, even though I'll probably look at them and go, no, nah, I can't do that because I'm not a speedrunner. Do we get anything for that at all? Was it literally just experience? Oh, come on. You're giving us 4,000 XP for that, but you look at these other ones, you get something. That's kind of lousy. I don't like that. I'm fully aware that the whole intent of that is to push people into buying the cosmetic set, but I do feel there should have been a reward for doing that other than XP. Oof. I mean, it's the only one here that doesn't have a reward connected to it. That's a bummer. Alright, I'm not going to purchase the... Thank you, Metal Gear Rising, for the um, interruption. The Ghostface underscore 19. Thank you for the follow just now. I appreciate it. I'm not going to purchase the DLC tonight. Uh, I'll probably purchase it either tomorrow or later in the week, perhaps. But I believe that is all this particular Elisa Target Arcade and Elisa Target has to offer. Street Surgeon, how are you doing, dude? You avoided level 3. I just did level 3 on my first attempt. Mm. Mind you, I did spend about an hour doing it last night on a level 1 account Silent Assassin suit only, so I knew what to do. That is an awful condition. Absolutely awful. <clears throat> Just slaking my thirst. Uh, street Surgeon Instafiles make you angry? Me too. Especially when they're connected to Elusive Target Arcade of all things. It's a 12 hour lockout if you screw this up. Oof. Ghostface, how do you get to level 3500? Uh, lots of playing. Play the game and then play some more. And then play some more on top of that. Right, I think all is well with the world. We are back up to 100% on everything except Freelancer. How far am I? Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. Uh, 20 more campaigns to go there. And 13 more campaigns to go there. At least 20 more, probably more. Making progress. Right, how long have I been streaming? About an hour and a half, not counting the flow at the start. Um, I might play some of these contracts. I don't know how easy they are or if they're going to be quick, difficult, whatever. But we'll take a look at these featured contracts that appeared around two nights ago. Don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Fazux? Fazux? Fux? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. There are 10 contracts here. We're starting at Dubai. Acrophobia. Briefing. The fear of heights is a common phobia. Our client has a severe case and resents those who look down on others. 
figuratively or literally. Teach them to keep their feet firmly planted on the earth. Mendy! I was watching your stream last night. I went to bed, uh, fell asleep watching Swimming Carcass, and then Swimming Carcass raided Mendy. And yeah, I heard you. Mendy is a good man. Go check him out. Uh, what are we doing? We are setting the helicopter pilot on fire. I assume these two are... Oh, hang on. We, we, all, bleh. we need to kill them all wearing the helicopter pilot disguise. So we need to take out the helicopter pilot first, subdue him, then change into his disguise, and then burn his naked body. We only have one exit. That is likely the, um, up the helicopter. We need to take two people out with a sniper rifle. All right, let's start at... the art installation. And nearby we can smuggle in a sniper rifle of the ducky variants. I can't wear a suit unfortunately. Uh, do we need anything else? A melee weapon would be useful. Actually, no, hang on. Uh, no, I could set the dude on fire using that. I thought I needed a pistol for the fire kill, but no, I can do that with the sniper rifle. It works just as well. And yes, I'm not going to use the duck, but I'm bringing along the duck for comforts. It's a comfort duck. So, uh, spotted by the camera, that's a terrible start. There's another way through here, isn't there? Yep, yeah, okay. We've got one enforcer directly ahead of us. Yeah, I should go this way. If I can find the exit. Just gotta watch out for you. Straight and then left. Okay, this is a speedrun contract. Hopefully they're not all like this. If they are, I might be able to knock them all off today. Is anyone watching this, though? More specifically, is anyone watching those? I'm not referring to, you know, watching me on... I don't know where I'm going with that. You need to take a nap. Should use a tranquilizer, but whatever. We need to shoot that, set you on fire after we strip you off. We're shooting his... Well, we're setting his naked body on fire. Mendy, you madman, what is wrong with you? Uh, he's not in range there. Come on. If any luck, one of those two will kill themselves. Is anyone watching these two? Let's toss them off the edge. Okay, something broke. I'm not sure what. Oh! Are you telling me that if I shoot someone... Well, no, if I shoot someone, of course it's not going to work. Um, if I shoot someone with the tranquilizer and they fall to their deaths, it doesn't count as a fall kill?
I'm not doing this in the right order, it's fine, I'll restart in a sec. Uh, you right there, sir? I have no clue why that didn't work, unless um, it works exactly as I described, which is you take someone else and they fall, and that doesn't count as a fall kill. trespassing up here? Absolutely. Uh, don't, mean, don't mind me, sir. There's an unconscious body up here. Ah, hell. How can I reproduce that easily? Oh, come on, fellas. I'm shocked that that happened. That's not going to work. Um, I'm wasting time now, but I want to see this again. I just want to see it with my own eyes. Going for the sniper rifle, I won't have the problem with this guy on the right hand side. I was trying to punch you in the face, sir, but whatever. Um. So if I shoot you from here, you fall backwards. So logically, that means that if I throw something here and shoot you from the other side, you should fall backwards. Let's throw that here. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the other dude heard. Sierra Six reporting in. There's a All right, let's see if this works. Ah. Oh. <coughs> uh, this is all RNG. RNG e, isn't it? Possibly move a bit closer to the edge. Like right on this corner, maybe. Farewell wrench, we hardly knew you. We might have a possible disturbance. I'm going to investigate. Ah, come on. Well, it's not like I haven't been here before. Ah. Uh. I just want to trank them and have them fall over the edge. I'm certain that's what happened. I just need to see it again. If I want to continue testing this, I should bring along some coins. Move around there if you can. Are you going to fall off? Three, please. Uh, yeah, there we go. 
that does not count as a full kill. Now, I'm struggling to remember what the featured contract was, but there was one in Haven Island where you could trank someone in the pool, and that created an accident kill of some sort. I can't remember if it's a full kill or not, but I want to check that. I want to check that after the stream, if I remember. Speaking of if I remember, I need to see if the um, android can kill me with collateral fire or not. I'll do that next. Uh, we have a method here, but I just need to be careful about how they get tranked. That is utterly bizarre. That contract in Haven makes me think that the fall property is not connected to either a push or a dump. But maybe, maybe that's wrong. Maybe that, maybe my line of thinking there is completely wrong. That's utterly bizarre. Whisper Mock, how are you doing? And hello to everyone in chat. There's actually a lot of people in chat tonight. Hope you're getting your purple ducks. Head into water counts as fall. And yet head into the blue yonder down there. That's nice. That's depressing. Even if you drag them there, it counts as a fall. Wow. That's crazy talk. Is this going to work? Yes, yeah, so if one of these goes flying of their own accord, that's it, I'm done. Oh, I've got to pick up the key. Losing so much time. Yeah, it's alright. I'm not a speedrun chat. Easy contract, but I feel like I learned something. If you shoot someone with a trank and they have a fall, it doesn't count as a fall accident. Zang3942, thank you for the follow just now, I appreciate it. Uh, Miami. Let me just test this out very quickly because I forgot to do it earlier. Start there. Yeah, that loadout will do. Gotta say, this robot is pretty impressive. Spec wise, it's the miles threat I need to be, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Oh, uh, hello? Everything? HR? <laughs> yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. So, I'm hearing rumors to be on the call. Where am I going? I'm just hoping there's a photo of Robert Knox up here. Did you actually survive that? I'm extremely impressed. Mr. Knox. Where do I find a photo of Mr. Knox? It's been a while. Bathroom, maybe?
Looking good, man. Looking Sierra, good. Sierra, there we go. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? I never think, Diana. Uh, yep, this way. He's throwing forces. He's in the room. Okay, McKinnis, let's run this test. You're sure you fixed all outstanding issues with the hmm, micro Hang on, 47. Uh. Yeah, Robert Knox's yeah. calendar shows a meeting with a oh, Ted Mendez. Shit. consultant the military. Must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez. Alright, I'm going to take that as no, there is no crossfire Robert damage. Knox down. Now for the heir to the Kronstadt Empire. So yeah, when we were taking out the Undying early in this room, there was no real threat to us. Keep up the good work, sir. But again, just to emphasize this, this door cannot be closed. It can on the elusive target, but it can't be closed now. In fact, this entire door is it's off the hinge. It's just lying there. Uh, all right. 47 is a tank, indeed. Laser E off, indeed. He is a tank. It's a shame it doesn't work like that in, you know, normal combat. All right. What was I doing? Contracts. Featured contracts. Next up is Paris, Snowbound. It's so cold out here. Consider bringing some warm clothes, or you will get stuck here for a long time. And you don't want that, right? Okay, Kinesa, thank you. We're taking out four targets. These names do ring a bell. They make me think of people either in the basement or maybe near the dressing room area. Let me start down here first. We'll just take a look. The one that's giving me pause here is the bodyguard, second target. Oh, it's Holiday Hoarders. Oh, they're all over the place. Okay, we have two on the upper floors looking over the... No, correction, we have one on the upper floor here overlooking the bar area. We have one outside the museum director's office. We have one out in the middle of nowhere, and the other is near the catwalk. Okay. Let's start up in the attic. I'll swap that for the trank. Hang on to the lockpick and hang on to the duck for comforts. And we are obligated to start a Sansa 47 here. We don't have a choice. We just don't. Uh, okay, there isn't anyone up here. I don't know why I thought there was. Let's go down here. Okay. Get rid of you. I don't believe I can leave your body here. I'm going to need to hide it. Watch out for this camera here. We have an additional person in this room, but if I think I'm just safe to nail you and then go for the tech crew. Now, the other two I'm a little uncertain about. Uh, not that way. Yes, I have to go that way. What am I thinking? Uh, these two are going to delay me unless I get down here much faster, so let's try that. Let's not screw up the start. That said... Let me just punch this dude in the face very quickly. Or snap his neck, whatever. Basically the same thing. Do I have a line of sight on this guy from the balcony here? Brand owner and 
Okay, you're guessing a message. That's going to move you into the toilet down there. We can then sweep downstairs and drown you as you're throwing up. Then I'm just going to run that way, kill you, and then guess out. I need to swap this for the trank. Man, I do feel bad about this, but I do want to try and speed things up if I can. We don't need the lockpick. The hardest part here is going to be dodging these damn cameras. That's in an awful position. Awful, awful position. And we've been recorded, so... I we'll have to go downstairs and disable security. Well, let's just see if the rest of this works. We go in here. We knock you out. Uh, is this safe? doesn't feel safe, just saying. But even doing that, because of the time that I spent trying to mess with that guy, these guys are now here delaying me. So he is... You did not go to where I thought you were going to go. Okay. Not the end of the world, because I can just come through this way and drown you here. By drown, I mean stick a knife in your neck or whatever it is. Slash your neck. Am I allowed in here? Of course I am. Uh, this bathroom, I believe, is occupied, so I will try this. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Why would you do that, 47? You madman, you. I'll come back for you later with the purple duck, I swear. Now, who are you? And how do I take you out? And not in the uh, first date kind of way. You come over here, please. Pretty please. It pulls the other one. So I need to... The problem I've got is I don't think it's safe to just take him out where he is because these two guards or these two tech crew will see what's going on. There's a good chance she will see what's going on. There's a good chance he will see what's going on. Shut the hell up, sir. You know you are the only one who can really help. That's what drives me. The hell are you doing? You sound like me late at night, dude. Um. Yeah, I've got to pull him this way and then take him out here. And all the while avoiding those cameras. The cameras are a problem. Sans has been bad this year, kids. Alright, if coming through the left hand door is bad, then what about the right hand door? Not much better. Yeah, I'm going to have to go downstairs and take out the security very clearly. Unless I change my setup or change my thinking entirely. This guy moves fast. Now, is he going to the same place? He is. Uh, not that way. That leads to a very, very locked door. Oh, balls. 
Okay, he didn't see me. Wow. Yeah, everything's fine. I've done nothing wrong. Much better, 47. Jesus. What the? I'm just going to go down here. I'm in a hurry. Actually, that's where the trunk would come in handy, wouldn't it? But I'm not carrying the trunk. I completely forgot there was a second entrance Anyone? to this room. Anyone there? Right, just need to make our way to the right. Dodge this dude directly in front of us. And do it on the right. You've moved here. Is that a bad thing? I should be able to work with this. Say what? What the hell was that? <sighs> Don't even know why. Not that way. That will do. As long as no bodies get found at the last possible moments, we're done. Mm. Not great, but it'll do. What is up next? Next up is Bangkok. Dump the sump. Using a sniper rifle. According to the screenshot, yes. Hello, agents. This contract is doable with a wall bang from the pier. All right, so I'm not reading the rest of that. Fuzuk, not interested. <laughs> that is not happening. I do not speed run. That is all I have to say about that. Don't get me wrong, I think wallbanging is impressive, but no. I am not playing your game. Also, congrats, Fuzik. I think this that is the first contract that I have not bothered to read. You're a bad person, and I you should feel bad. <laughs> I am going to break this one. This is what I think about you and your war bank. <laughs> God, I'm such a terrible person, chat. I'm not always like this, I swear. I'm basically rage quitting the contract before even starting the contract. Alright, let's put that in there. Grab the detonator, which is not in our inventory. There it is. I could probably take him out in here and it will be safe. Jeez. Oh, man, we've all been there. Everything's great. Everybody's Outside great. of contracts where I feel like I need to use the remote medic gas mine to move targets around, that is about the most uh, disdainful thing that I think I can do. I've done nothing and I'm just defaulting to the mine. Uh, hide that gun, 47. 
Or drop it, whatever. Yeah, I'm not interested, I'm just not. So we can take him out from here, apparently, with Snap Ruffle. I don't care. I'm sorry. I just do not care. What else did he have written there? I'm not reading it out. If you're curious to see how to stop by the community Discord, yeah, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do find such things impressive, but I find them no fun to play. I just don't. Alright, so after that debacle, what's next? Next up is ICA Facility. Get to the chopper. Mark 2. Initiates, your challenge is to make it to the helicopter without changing outfit. Good luck. Surf. Special contract by Kevin Rudd. Kevin M. Rudd, thank you, I think. So, I was doing a contract last night during my random stream, which we'll never see the light of day on YouTube, where we needed to get up to the upper deck of this boat. And I couldn't find a way of doing it without changing uh, outfit. I had to change my outfit at some point. How do we pull this off? Uh, starting location is very weird. It's because it's been hacked into the game afterwards, I guess. It looks like in the screenshot that Mr. Rudd was wearing the undying look, the blue tie there, so I'm going to go with that. Let me bring along the Trank. I think the lockpick is useful. Crowbar is possibly more useful. If indeed I can find the damn thing. And I'm not sure what else to bring along. Maybe just some coins until I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh, also, do we have a smuggle location here? I don't think we do. Surely not. No, absolutely not. Alright. And yeah, it's confirmed. The conditions are... Ah, okay. So he's not made it a requirement. There's actually no objective there to say do not change the skies. But only one outfit is available. But Mr. Rudd wants us to try and get up there without changing the skies. And as we all know, I love challenges. I try and follow the instructions to the lesser. Ah, fuck. Um, why are you there? You weren't there last night. You were looking over the edge. What the hell? I did a contract here at the ICA facility last night. You were not in that position. That's uh, very strange. Alright, I'm going to need to move you. Very clearly. You're looking away at the moments. Yeah, this is probably asking for a lot of knockouts and all gun lures if we want to try and do this suit only. Just gonna drag you back here before you get spotted. So getting through here is a problem. Yeah? What does he do? No, it's not. That's a 92 Senpai, he's coming. One to our right. Can't climb that, unfortunately. Yeah, so one of the targets here, I believe, was this guy here, and I had to pull him in here. Take him out and drop the remote explosive on him. 
And how do we do this without changing disguise? Also, where is our target? I haven't even thought about that yet. Target is up near the chopper. This staircase is no good because we've got way too many people around here and someone over there can spot me. I think this staircase is the way to go. Such an eye for detail. Colors, their fabric. People are spotting me so quickly though, that's uh, deeply disturbing. Mind? Just finding somewhere to hang out while I try and deal with this guy. What do you do? You turn around Another very fast. Spot, buddy. This is taking, okay? Okay. Let's get in here. Weird. That was, uh, that's a problem. Is he going to open the door that way? Of course he is, because why the hell wouldn't he? Ah, but I can do a frontal takedown here. Okay. There are two guards directly ahead of me, but they're not looking in my direction. We have crowd looking in our direction, but that's not a problem. We've also not forgotten that I've got a tranquilizer. That's better. No. Where am I going? Just opening these doors randomly because I feel like it. Okay, uh, dude is coming. Can I get in front of him? No. These guys are spotting me surprisingly quickly. If I get up there a bit quicker, then I can do it. Does mean that I need to take out the dude with the crowbar very quickly, though. Seven, come on. Yeah, like that, for example, that's probably blindness. It's coming behind me. Can I get in front of him? I can. That is a notice for Senpai. Well, I suppose I can set this up with enough time, can't I? Because he's going to... Okay, now you open the door swinging it towards me. This guy's a troll confirmed. Let's set this room up properly. Okay, he's back in there. Uh, and by that, I mean, how do I do this? Do I just have to do a frontal takedown and hope for the best? I think so. I can't set up a gun lure in here. The room's too small. Okay, I'm mashing circle like... Circle. I'm mashing square like you wouldn't believe. Now, did she spot... Is she always there? Or did I just get unlucky? The problem I've got is when I get up to the top level, or the next level up, I've got the same problem. I need to do the same thing again.
Oh. Get around the crate, dude. So, the lady's not there. I don't think that... I don't think that really helps me, though, because we need to wait for the guy to come inside the room, do his search, and then leave, and then go back in. That was smooth. That was not. Let's see if we can do this with just one crowbar now. Get around this crate, 47. Well done. Spotted. Uh, is there a better path here that I can use? So if I go this way, for example, I can hide in the crowd, maybe get out there. I didn't think there was a way up here though, other than using the, um, other than using the staircases. I'm going to change the skies for a bit, just to scout this place out. And if it looks too hard, then I'll just say, you know what, Kevin Rudd, you didn't make it a condition, so I'm going to ignore it. I think we can agree that I've made a half hearted attempt to try and do it. And that's about as much as you can get out of me. So, we can get up here, no problem. We've possibly got a maintenance guy following us up, so we need to be quick. There's no lady around here. She spotted me taking so um, you around the corner. It's okay. if this is what Mr. Ritter You're coming this way, you are a threat. Let's go upstairs. I sworn they were in forces last night as well. So if we go upstairs here, I need to deal with this guy. And you are easily my biggest problem, simply because you don't move. And you two are just chilling here, doing nothing. These stairs are not possible because these two are in the way. Do we pull this off suit only? If I want to use these stairs, I can't go through this door. If I could shrink this guy, I could just sprint up here, couldn't I? That involves me getting past this one, though. Hey, mister. You're not too much of a problem. I can pull you downstairs. I need to dodge that guy directly in front of me and then shrink the guy guarding the next set of stairs. I don't think that's doable, but let's take a look. I've got some ideas, chat. They're not terribly good ideas, but they're ideas. So, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you've got your purple ducks. There is a bit of a bug in Twitch at the moment where it's saying you need to connect your IOI accounts. If it's definitely connected, it'll still say you need to connect it, but check your inventory and the ducks should be there. Hopefully. Alright, so... I could pull you down there, perhaps. I don't think you'll spot that body. Yeah, this guy's a problem. If I can get past him, I might have a clear shot. Oh, you move. Okay. That will do. 
that helicopter. Love it. Alright, just going to stretch my legs for a bit. I'm going to grab some water. And I think it will continue on. Alright, what the hell am I doing wrong? 149. How on earth do we speed that up? I guess you could trank the one on the stairs, couldn't you? Yeah, okay, so I can just run up to this guy, take him out, then take out the one on top of the stairs, then try and trank the second dude before everyone goes on alert. Don't need a second crowbar. That's how to do it. I say that, but there's probably about six other ways you can do it, which are all faster. Such as bringing along a melee weapon so I could take that dude out rather than punching him out. Lining up that shot is taking some time as well. That will do. I have no intention of doing it any faster than that. Alright, let me read the next contract and I'll grab some water. I imagine if they're all this simple, then we can knock this over today. Alright, next up, Mendoza, Cave Rouse. Run and Gun, GLHF. Fuzzik, I hope this is better than the Bangkok contract, just saying. Alright, let me start here. I don't think I need the Requiem suit for a quick exit here. We can probably do the same with um, the wetsuit. Let's go with that. Actually, if we're going into here, then... Well, let me check my tigers out first. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. We'll be done very quickly, I think, today. Jeez. Let me equip that because I can open the door using the SMG. Alright, so I'll be back in two minutes, chat. So I still have my text here? I do, but I have no idea what it looks like. Comic Sans, lovely. Back in a sec. For a moment, whatever it says.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> I've just realized that I should probably bring along my purple dark. Shaggy, how you doing? He caught me just as I was coming back to my desk. All right, turn you off. Who are we dealing with here? Yeah, not the two in the armory. We're dealing with the two out here. Okay, so... I think we are obligated to do this. Hope you're doing well, dude. Um, we don't need the lockpick. Let's bring along our pretty purple duck. Haven't used it all day today, apart from comfort. And this thing looks sexy as hell, in my opinion. Do we have a camera? We do not. So I need to switch disguises, I've gone the wrong way, but let's just drop the duck here and have a look at its glow. What? That is a good looking duck. Who may I ask is searching? I'm not sure who's searching. Unless maybe it's got something to do with... Oh, there we go. You must have come from this room down here. Tech room. Really? You're telling me you heard it, but these assholes did not? No, it wasn't one of those two. I've got no idea where this guy came from. Apart from a, you know, a mummy, dad, mummy gacha and a daddy gacha. I just want to check out this duck some more. Because this duck is sexy. And if you're watching on Twitch, you can claim it if you've got your IOI cat. I sound like a freaking advertiser. But it's true. If you've got an IOI cat, connect it to Twitch and watch me or someone else playing Hitman for an hour. And it will show up in your inventory in game. Pretty cool. Did I drop the lockpick? I did. It's mesmerizing. And if you take it to Paris with the lighting bug, it is lit up so much more. You can't really see it here, but it's got really, really deep red eyes. Alright, so I need to pass through here, grab the wetsuit. It's going to be quicker to SMG them, but honestly, I'd rather duck them. Start wetsuit. Gen P, does that work? 
I mean, you're telling me to, so it must work. Well, let's check if that works. I'm not a thousand percent certain if you need to take out the camera there. Forty-seven, please. Yeah, of course I need to take out the camera, otherwise I'm going to get spotted. And it says body found there, so I have to take out the camera. We don't have an option there. Losing my train of thought. Terrible shot. Didn't need to reload. Let's get rid of you two. And that will do. Thirty one. Really? Are you seriously telling me that it's faster to do it then? I mean, I know the duck is slowing me down, but I can't think of a much faster method than that. That all just comes down to aiming and movements. Couldn't do that again if I tried. But yeah, got to kill those two instantly and then make my way to the exit, but the exit is covered in guns. Okay, the gun is fully loaded. So we come in here, take them out instantly like that. And then hit the exit when it shows up. Oh, kill first guy with explosion so it takes out the camera as well. Yeah, it could do, but I fear that'll bring the other two out. You haven't played this contract yet, Gen P. Um, I think you've seen everything that you need to see, though. Oh boy. This is a very simple set of contracts. All right, Sean King, aim trainer. Oh no. Use the five millimeter for the flex. Agent Coates, thank you. I think I've seen you in my chat before. Uh, you want me to use a five millimeter? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not using this thing. Or oh, not that thing, where is it? I am not using that. That is not happening. That is absolutely not happening. <laughs> oh my word. Uh, take the lockpick just in case. 
I assume we're starting here, though. What do we got? It's funny how kids look so innocent when they sleep. Adults what do we do about you, sir? Mm. I don't know. John looks so I'm assuming like this doesn't work. It totally works. This guy's blind. Holy fuck, that's depressing. Alright, that's a five millimeter gone. Uh, exiting from here is... Is it this way, or do we go out the window? We've got an exit here. That's not much faster. If I kill you two, I can go... I'm gonna be ripped! Get the hell out of here! Yeah, that's much faster, isn't it? Alright. Alright, what's going on on the left? Smash through it, look left. Okay, they're moving into position. We need to delay the start. Two guards downstairs will not move, so that's not a problem. Just mashing right on the D-pad. It's funny how kids look so innocent when they sleep. And that doesn't help. I actually need to get out of um, lending in first. Figure out how to get out of here. That would be great. I'd say I like these contracts. I get why they exist, I get why people play them, but they're just not for me. I just prefer something with a bit more meat on them. Alright, what's next? Dubai, alternative elevator. Okay, that complicates things. The clock's ticking. 47, hurry up. Fuzzuk, what's this one about? What are we even looking at there? It looks like the area where someone's playing golf. And I'm struggling to recognize it. I see we need to start here. Let me just take a look. I assume this is an insta-file condition. Uh... Okay, she's not paying attention. What's the quickest exit from here? What's the quickest exit from here?
I want to say the helipad. Why? We could maybe get to the elevator here. That'll be enough time. Gotta watch for that camera and then get into here. Is there a faster exit? I don't think so. The other elevator we've got will not take me to, um, well, accessing that one. I've got to go through another floor to get there, so that doesn't really help me. Um, all right. So we delay to start. 47 goes to that animation. Break a neck. No one hears it because they're all deaf. That is definitely not the way out. Parachutes. I was thinking that, but I thought you had to do something with the parachutes. Let me get out using the um, elevator first. And then I'll take a look at the parachutes. Excuse me. Why is it bugging like this? That is a bug, isn't it? Or at least I'm 99% certain that's a bug. But I think those are explicitly locked out because we've seen this bug happen on other contracts. And it makes no sense. Um, let me just fire up Dubai very quickly. Uh, not that way. This way. Once again, I'm not a speedrunner, so you're not going to see me speedrun this. Not properly, anyway. But let me just take out both targets and see if the elevators are unlocked. If this doesn't work, then I assume I have to use the parachutes. We have Kyle Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Too late. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Got him, 47. Soon there will be no more problems. Why are these locked down? You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. I'm really not sure why that's locked. Ah! Hell. Okay, things getting messy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, GMP. Gonna head up there if I can ever change the skies and uh, get back up there without dying. I, don't see him. How many help I need to grab this keycard first. Why are these things locking down? 
Oh, wrong key card. Never mind. Go up the long way. You try to th do things the right way, going up using the stairs, using the key, using the key card like a civilized person, and then the game's like, nope, you can't do that. It's the wrong key card. These things should stay unlocked, though. They really should. Let's put you to sleep. Grab, and grab that key card now that we don't need it. Surprisingly bulletproof. Right. Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, which one do I pull again? Look at the monitors, I don't see a difference. Oh my god, memory is failing. I think it's that one because it's... No... Look at the lights. Interact with PC in the middle first. I did that. I thought one of them had a different lice or it was moving at a different speed. It's been a very long time since I've last done this. Because normally the elevators don't bug like this. Is anyone coming up? Am I locked in here permanently? No, here we go. Do what you came down here to do. Check out this room. Don't check out the dead body. There's no saving him. Fuck's sake, dude. Actually, wait. Open says me. Man, you read me. Okay. Okay, that thing's reset. What are you, some kind of troublemaker? Come get some. All right, let's try this again. I can't interact with the terminal right now. Just redo this. I'm not sure what I was doing wrong in the middle there. And the best part is, this is just so I can unlock the elevator so I can use them on a contract. Kind of sucks. Uh, you're right there, 47? That was weird. So are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry. I'm saying we can fix it. Fix it yourself. <sighs> not that way. Jesus. They should enter the room and disable the alarm. Yeah, so they got interrupted by the dead body. Then I can hack it. I thought that there was a difference in the monitors. Hello. What the hell? That was a hell of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Can't think of the word I'm looking for. Shooting someone directly in the head, but it misses. Not a wall hack. What's the opposite of a wall hack? I don't know. Uh, I'm way behind on this now, so I'm going to have to cause a ruckus in this corridor. 
Mine's I'm 47. There will be no more profits. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Oh, hell. Speaking of over, I'm over. Out of the way, along with this gun. Oh, shit, I must go and get the, um, uh, so the terminal is locked. If I use it, nothing happens. I get no options. I thought there was something on these monitors we, that you could look at and go, okay, this is the one that you need to hack. Like the one behind me just paused for a while. I don't know, man. Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security. It's when they disable the alarm, okay. I don't remember this at all. I'm just gonna look it up while we wait behind this um here pillar, server, whatever you want to call it. Good. Hey, look alive, buddy. You see a terminal next to the computer. Swipe the card there, you'll be prompted to I'm trying to read and dodge at the guards at the same time, and it's not really working. You'll be prompted to try pulling a server rack again this time, however, you'll have a clue as to what's the right one. Look at each of the monitors. You'll notice that the text is yellow on one of the four screens. Are you going to come in here and disable the alarm, please? Also, please ignore all the dead bodies outside. Seriously, it's been like three years since I've done this. Yeah, he's packing up the body. Uh, sir? Please make yourself useful. And disable this alarm. Pretty please. Oh my god. I think all the dead bodies are breaking the script. All right, fine. Fuzzik, I hope you're happy. Uh, that one. I will definitely kill the guard up here, sleeping. But other than that, I'll try and keep the trigger happiness to a minimum. Alright, he's coming in. He's coming in. The body has not been spotted. That's better. And if I'm in luck, I can get outside here and gun him down before he starts moving upstairs. 
We're already going to decide with the alarm now. Ready, please. Please and thank you. Nothing to see here. There we go. Jesus. Fuck. Yes. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Right, one of these should have. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. I don't remember that. You've got it, okay. Oh, come on. Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. You never had visual, dude, you goddamn liars. Right, so... There's that. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Sure can. Okay. Open the elevator doors. Disable the cameras. Make me rich. Forgot about that one. Uh, you're at the back here. Okay. We'll just take you out and I'll use an elevator to exit just to confirm that the bloody things are actually working. Court mashing every time. I was fine last night, but I'll not fine tonight, very clearly. Uh, where are you going? You're going this way? Can I take you out from here? Sure can. Nice. Lovely. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more providence. And you need to find an exit. Exo hunting for the win. Here, but it's far from over. Hey, what are you doing? Right. The elevators are open. We have confirmed that they work. I think. The question is, do they work on this contract? If yes, great. If no, I need to figure out how to use the parachutes. Right, so after that small delay, let's take a look at Alternative Elevator again. Got a horrible feeling I need to use the parachutes regardless. Uh, do I need anything here? Let me take a Stubby Stubby. Don't know if that'll speed things up though. You would think it would, but the problem I've got is, uh, use my words, the problem I've got is that I need to take him out in a silent manner. We've seen that subduing him and breaking his neck works. I'm not sure that using a knife will work on him. Well, let's find out. Okay, it works. I do need to hide the knife though. And just like that, the elevators are open. Go fucking figure. That is suppressing. Alright. GMP mentioned it. What about the parachutes? I oh, know I mashed through that, it's fine. What? Be careful. So are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry. I believe they are here. Why? I just wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow. I got it. I'll get it. It's been a while. Where are the parachutes? You know how it works? Because I don't. It's easy. Two of us are stationed up here and below. Lockdown. 
We have both alarm panels here. Where he plays golf. Thank you, Jim P. So we need to get through those. I assume that's going to ask for... No, never mind. I can just do that. I was thinking maybe a troll shot or something. I feel dumb. Can we just exit the map here? Can we legit just exit the map at that point? I didn't think it was that simple. Bugger me, okay. As usual, I'm overcomplicating things. What the fuck's wrong with me? I didn't realize I was an exit. I thought you had to um, sabotage the parachutes or something like that. I was getting confused with that. Holy shit. What is wrong with me? Alarm panels is only to make the NPCs exit. Yeah, the main targets. You could slash their parachutes and do some fun stuff there, I think. It's been a while. Oh my god, what is wrong with me, chat? Thank you for not spoiling that. <laughs> We've got the elevators, but we can just use a parachute. That's quicker. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. How much time do we really save with that, though? And as far as killing this guy quickly goes, I guess a bomb would be quickest. Just drop the bomb and run. And then detonate it as you're near the exit, but... I feel taking a second to aim the gun there is safer. I did not frigging realise I could just go out this way. What the fuck is wrong with me? No one should be watching me, just saying. And curiously, it's not that much faster. What is wrong with me? That was worth it if I need to take a look at you by. And um, that's probably the most interesting contract that I've played so far in this batch. Which is kind of sad. Three more. Sans Fortuna, kill order colon 1 12 680 72 by community. A contract has been issued and you have been cleared to engage. Eliminate any targets as cleanly as possible, avoiding collateral damage as far as possible. Tupla Piconi? I'm not going to say thank you because that's the default description. Put some effort into it. <laughs> I'm a terrible person confirmed. 47, what the hell are you doing here? What are you going to do to gunpoints? Gen P, it will be interesting if you try to boost over the ledge from the room where you kill target. That's... I'll never do that. I mean, you saw what I did with the contract in Bangkok. I will never try to wall hack like that. Uh. So you can just teleport over there and exit. Muffins are for eating. That's the only comment I've got on that. Muffins are for eating and violins are for smashing. Who have we got here? Okay, you're a problem. If I can get to you quickly enough, then I can take you out. You three... Should be okay as long as these two don't realise what's up. I need to get that moving guy down immediately, though. That 
there's just nothing fun about that. If you're watching this on YouTube and this is your first video, I'm not normally this negative, I promise. Or maybe I am and I just don't realise it, but Jesus. Alright, so next up, Mumbai Maelstrom Routes. This is one that I've always wanted to check out because I'm not actually sure where he spawns. I should know, but I don't. A contract has been issued and you, Frodo7, do better too. <laughs> I know you can do better, man. Congrats on getting another contract featured, but Jesus. Uh, where does the Maelstrom start? I'm about to find out. You're in the middle of the slums here. Let me restart as a thug. Because that'll put me much closer. Ah. Hate this starting point. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Once again, I'm normally this negative, I promise. Uh, can I get past you? Yes. Wait, do you have a randomized start? You've got a randomized start point. Where is that? That's the holy man's house. Where the hell is he? Uh, you're out there, 47? I'm not trying to intentionally war hack, I swear. Uh, yeah, if he starts here... Odd. Hmm. This one's interesting, if only because his spawn point is randomized. I'm not sure how speedrunners handle this one. Whether it's just a case of stopping and restarting like the elusive target in Sans Fortuna, I can't remember his name, but he's a prick. We just need to get him to spawn in the right location and then take him out. Interesting contract for learning though, I guess. But there's going to be... Why am I going that way? And there's going to be many others where Wazir Kale is a target by now, so... This is nothing new, but it's news to me. He's moving fast. Alright, let's follow him around for a bit. I am equipped with a gas grenade of the breakable variety, so I might just do that. Don't mind, that's an illegal action. Okay, he spawned here every time. I wonder if we change our spawn points, whether his spawn point changes. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to nail him in that alley there on the left. Oh, this time this crow is turning around facing me. No idea where you're going. I've got a feeling if I follow him, he'll make his way to the beach, beach side shack or whatever you want to call it. And that all presents an opportunity oh. to take him out. Hope that wasn't anything I had. 
Okay, he's going in this toilet here. And he's not coming out. I'll go for this kill because I think the loud one will pull one of these two inside. Will you spot the body? No. Fine. I'm not interested in learning more. At best, maybe changing the spark, spark point. I'm losing my mind, chat. At best, maybe changing the start point will um, affect where he spawns, and then maybe there's a better speedrun method. But I'm okay with that. 118, Jesus. Alright, I'll take a look at that one online later because I'm not interested. Let me just blast through these last two and call it a day. And by last two, I mean last one. Back to Dubai again. We'll see if the elevators are still open. Potassium overload. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. What's the formula? So maybe look up the formula chat. Three leg shots, one hand shots. Something. Oh my god. Never mind. Physic? Okay, thank you. A kill with a banana? The recipe is simple. Only two ingredients are needed. HWK21 Pale Homemade Silencer, a banana. Then, you'll need to do... Five shots to the arm, one shot to the torso, and throw the banana at the head. Have fun! Notes, you acquire the gun by reaching mastery level 2 in Romania, Carpathian Mountains, and you can find a banana in the meeting room, or in two of the security rooms. Fuzik, thank you, that is surprisingly informative. That is definitely not the formula that I normally use, though. I thought it was three and then one, but I can't remember it right now, so you know what? I'm willing to play along here. I'm absolutely willing to play along with this. Uh, do we need anything else? I don't think so. Let's start here. Find our target, get this kill done, and call us. So, I'm getting my arms and torsos mixed up. See, this one at least is informative. Love the way he's waving his arms around like that. Trying to do the YMCA and failing. Not having it. Ah, court mashing every damn time. Let me just take a melee weapon in here because that'll speed things up. And yeah, there's a quicker formula involving the Krugermeyer, but I'm not going to go for it. I'd have to look it up. At least this isn't as, isn't as bad as the one we have to take out in Haven Island. Remember that one? There's a dude in the surf that you have to take out in Haven Island with a banana, and that one is god awful. Like 
think that will do it for today. If you're watching on Twitch, I hope you got your ducks and I apologize for the flubbed intro. Oh boy. So, Undying was sort of fun. The arcade was sort of fun. These contracts? No. I do not approve of these contracts. Even um, the F7SC contracts I think are more fun than these. And I don't mean to throw shade on you specifically, Fuzzik, but... That one there, I've got no interest in doing, and everything here was just way too simplistic. I think if you've watched me for a while though, you know that I prefer my puzzles and just trying to learn things, so... Apart from this final one here, I don't think these have much to offer. I really don't. I feel terrible saying that because I feel like an asshole, but that's just like my opinion, man. Uh, either way, that's all the featured contracts done, so we are back up to 100%. Feels good. Alright, I'm going to call it there. To everyone on Twitch, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've got your ducks. If you've not linked your IOI account to Twitch, do so because I'll raid someone shortly and you just need to watch someone for an hour and the duck will appear in your inventory automatically. There is a bit of a bug in Twitch at the moment where IOI will not correctly show the account being linked for the duck, but it will show up in your inventory. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you sincerely very much. Whatever adjectives we want to use for watching, I sincerely appreciate your love and support as always. Alright, if I can find the player profile, I will call it there. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a great day or great night or whatever it is in your part of the world. And I'll be back online with some more Hitman 3 very soon. See you then.